Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Aries, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Aries, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Oh my God, first card, Six of Cups. It's a card of a returning soulmate, Aries. The ones who are not interested can switch off now. But let's see, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so uh, newcomers, I'm going, I'm, I'll be setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Aries, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, for me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, Aries, Emperor upright. <laughs> All right. So somebody here wants to come back, Aries. Okay, they, I don't think they have the guts right now because they see their person as maybe still very upset and angry with them or maybe they were, something broke down. Maybe there were long-term plans which didn't work out. Somewhere they feel that the person who's angry with them uh, doesn't want them back anymore or uh, maybe they disrespected that person in the past. Mm, even though they have made a decision or they have made a decision, they've been very lonely. I think they want to come out of this hermit mode. Let's see uh, whether they will or won't. I don't know. I do have an emperor here in the upright overall energy. The other person is saying, yeah, you know what? They were just too immature for me. Uh, I heard some gossip. Maybe there were some rumors. Something happened here where I think the other person is kind of saying, you know, this was just not worth my while kind of a thing. I'm not even stressing about it, Omkara Taro. Don't worry about, about it so much. Yes, I was very discontent because I did see them as my, somebody I would have liked in my life. I did feel a very strong soulmate connection with them. But they, they turned out to be a player. They turned out to be an immature person who probably just wanted passion with me. I've taken, I've regained back my strength now. All right. So, well, um, before I clarify all these cards for you, Aries, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify the rest. Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aries and their person. Aries and their person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? A few more Aries from another deck. Aries and their person spirit. All right, and a few more from a third deck as well, Aries. And then we can start the reading. Aries and their person. Aries. Aries and their person spirit. Aries and that person. All right, good to go, I think. All right, so Aries, if in any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I thought the green grass was going to be greener on the other side, but it wasn't. I keep reading our old text messages. I act like I don't care, but deep down, it affects me more than you'll ever know. Trying to gather up the courage to get in contact with you. I want to make things right between us. I wish you would tell me how you really feel, so I don't have to get tarot readings on you. I miss you so much that it feels like there's a real pain in my chest. I won't show you that though. Sometimes, because I know we'll be together, I take you for granted. I talk to you a lot in my head. 
I need more time. I want to make love to you. You always knew how to make me smile. I show off on social media for you. I see you in my dreams. I have so much to tell you. Everything will fall in place one day. I love you more than anything. Our hearts are connected by an invisible cord. You are my last love, my last everything. You've changed a lot since we met. And the last one here that he says, I've become more spiritual. All right, somebody probably has had an ascension or something. Let's see. I'm going to now, Aries, take your angel blessing card as well. And then we'll start the clarification. So my angels, what do you have for my Aries gang? Blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Practice makes perfect. All right. Somebody wants to try and try again. And who knows? Maybe they will become perfect one day. Practice makes perfect. And Aries, if you're on the other side, whatever you're doing, keep doing because it's working. Practice makes perfect. All right. So now, Spirit, tell me what's going on in this connection. And uh, newcomers, I'm going to start with Person A's energy. Uh, these, are, these are two soul energies here. I don't know which side you're on. It's not gender-based. And yes, if this reading is yours, you would be one side. And the other side would be... Uh, somebody very important to you, somebody in your soul family, yes, it could be a love interest, a spouse, an ex, could even be a best friend or a business partner or a relative or something, right? So um, you could be either side. So for me, this is just person A, this is person B. And right now I'm going to focus only on one side, forget about the other person so there's no confusion. Once I'm done with one, one side, then we later we'll move to the other side. So person A, let's talk with you. My focus is on you right now. Uh, what's the Six of Cups? Six of Cups. Clarify that for me, please. Too many cards. One by one, please. What's the Six of Cups? I know it's a card of somebody wanting to return back. Yeah, they want to come back because they can't take their eyes off the other person. They can't take their eyes off the other person. They can't find anyone better now. The grass was not greener wherever they went. And uh, yeah, maybe in the past, this, the connection stagnated because uh, they were being a little selfish or something. And they maybe didn't offer any kind of long-term commitment. Now they know that their person is very upset and angry with them. That's the only thing, that's the only hitch, I think, in coming back. Right. So either some time has gone same card again. I mean, they, they see that person little, as little upset and angry with them. They feel uh, what if they are not single? What uh, what if I've taken too much time? But whatever said and done, this person does want to come and at least make things right. They're still hoping and holding on to that wish that I, you know, I can make things right between the two of us. Why do you feel this way, person? They tell me. Uh, ten of Cups in reverse. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I think in the past, uh, I don't think this person had any intention of offering anything long term. Maybe they, they just thought that this could be a good time thing. Maybe it made the other person made them feel very happy. They wanted just person be for fun and passion or something and they felt this really works out well for me but what is stressing them out is that uh, the person who was probably giving them a lot of unconditional love or something i think this person's also fallen in love with that person and now that they feel that oh my god they've taken their love back they're not being as loving anymore what if they've ended things with me they know that they they are they are at fault maybe they lied they cheated they ghosted they did something to disrespect the person who they now see as their be all and end all Right? So they could have uh, damaged this connection or hurt their person. Empress in reverse. What's the Empress in reverse? Yeah, they behave like a trickster. 
they behaved like a bit of a trickster and this connection halted maybe the other person stopped moving towards them and moved on without them into having their own peace and happiness and uh, left this connection and ended things with them right yeah the other person i think they they could have taken off and said you know what i'm going to take a leap of faith in a new direction maybe they found out something some information about person a and ended this soul bond or what seemed like a very strong connection they ended it and this this ending came from the other side i think because i have the queen of wands in reverse again somebody got upset and angry got upset and angry to a point where they just dropped this connection right so now they're stressing because now they want to come back now they see the value and worth of the other person so person a tell me how do you see the connection now how do you see person B and how do you feel about this connection? Two of wands in reverse. Have you made up your mind or you feel the other person's made up their mind? What's the two of wands? Okay. Okay, give me one more. This person wants to start from scratch. They want to start from scratch. They, they have long term on their mind now. They're feeling very lonely. They feel... Uh, they feel that they 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 got to, if they don't put in the work they're going to lose out on a beautiful partnership. They could be feeling that uh, because of their foolish mistakes of the past, the other person has dropped them or given up on them. I think this ending has actually cleared their mind to a point where they now realize how much they want the other person in their life and uh, they feel the other person's just kind of given up on me or left me behind or they feel abandoned or they feel very lonely now from what I feel. They, they have a lack of hope now uh, whether they can get this connection back together or not. Maybe in the past, yes, this person was being a player. Maybe they were biding for time. I don't know what, what they were doing. But right now they are a little scared, um, feeling, yes, I know I made some unwise decisions in the past. I did this, that and the other, but now they... Now they now they're envisioning a future. They are want they 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 may, they've kind of chosen a direction from what I feel, and the direction is to now come back to person B and maybe try for a long term partnership. Am I right, person A? Am I right? Yeah, they they are a bit stuck. They are a bit stuck. They're trying to. They, they, as much as this person wants to have a passionate brand new beginning, as much as they want this happiness back, they are a little confused maybe as to how to now convince the other person. Mm, how do I get a reunion now? They don't know what choice will be made. They are kind of trying to come up with a plan or you know see things from different perspectives because somewhere they are expecting a no from the other person they feel the other person is going to have their boundaries up may push me away now so let me now figure out how how i can convince them so what action person a will finally take i will open later areas let's go to the other side and see how person b is feeling so person b page of swords in reverse in your feelings, in your emotions. Yeah, person B says, I was very discontent in this connection, Omkara Taro. They behaved in a very petty manner and uh, they nev I never got the offer that I expected to get from them. But th whatever said and done, person B says, uh, I, right now I ha I'm healing myself. I am stronger than before. I'm trying to do right for myself, Omkara Taro. And uh, I'm not really losing any too much sleep over this connection anymore. Yeah, initially it bothered me, but I, I've kind of gotten over that now. Uh, because I have realized that maybe I should just shut the door on this connection altogether. Maybe just turn my back to this connection and uh, that's it. And that may help heal me. Uh, I think person B has been s quietly healing in their little corner. Why, why do you feel this way, person B? Person B says because it uh, seemed like a very strong bond. I did feel connected to them. But then I never got that offer from them and that really kind of got to me four of cups four of cups yeah they, they say that uh, where emotions were concerned person b says where emotions were concerned they were totally holding back from me they were being very stingy with their time their energy their emotions uh, it it started to become a bit toxic 
it was, I started to feel it was only about passion and nothing else. And that's the reason I decided that, you know what, I'm not even going to wait, wait around. I'm going to get onto my chariot, move forward, maybe think of doing things which will give make me feel successful and uh, yeah I've been healing myself from this person who I still feel they were just a player they were just a player who just came in for uh, offering me nothing and yet I felt that strong bond between us but there was nothing here maybe I was mistaken so two of cups what's the two of cups yeah person is angry with themselves they're angry with themselves not just with themselves but also because of something they found out right they found out that it made them angry it made them upset and they finally gave up and said what kind of soulmate connection is that right they're just making a fool out of me person b feels betrayed by person a somehow okay so person b tell me how do you see the connection now and how do you feel about person a person b says how many times do you want me to tell you om karataro i see them as a player I see them as immature. They just want to come, you know, uh, visit me and maybe have some fun and then leave and then ghost me and go somewhere else and then come back again. And just, they're just a player, nothing else. They've, not, they've got nothing to offer. Knight of Wands. Yeah, I think person B feels that uh, uh, they were being treated like an option and person A was just playing mind games with them to keep them waiting. Like, you don't move on, you stay where you are while, you know, I have all the power in the connection. So, somewhere person B feels person A was just trying to keep them stuck or keep them as an option in their life. And that's the reason I think person B has now taken back their power. Okay, so tell me about the strength card. Strength card for this connection. Yep, taken back their power and here comes out this Queen of Swords. Uh, person B says, yeah, yeah, you're telling me they want to come back for a second chance. Well, they're going to meet my sword first. Then, then they can have say hello to me. If they want a second chance, they will have to answer many questions, be honest and open. Yes, I don't mind talking to them, but it doesn't mean they get entry into my world. First, it's like, you know, answer the sword first. All right, so let's see then what actions you guys will take, Aries. And uh, I'm going to take another deck for this one. And most of you already know the jig. Now is my time to request you, remind you to just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated to do more Aries readings for you. And uh, newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. And also, please press that notification bells youtube keeps telling me that half your subscribers don't have notification bells on so if you haven't please press that as well all right so person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise see i told you person a Person A is serious this time. They want to come back. They are envisioning a four of wands connection now. My God, look at this. They want a four of wands. This is again a card of commitment, long term commitment, long term. Okay, so clarify that for me, Person A. Clarify the Hierophant for me, please. Five of Swords hanged man yes two of pentacles nine of swords yes 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 you see this person look at look i'll show you the cards look at this person scratching their head it's like oh my god oh my god i'm stuck i'm stuck i have to really think of a good plan uh, they're going through anxiety sleepless nights stress tension why because they want to come forward now they want to take action and this time round action is just not for passion but they want to now prove to person B that I'm ready to offer something long term. Okay, so person B, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Action person B towards person A or otherwise. Seven of Pentacles. Person B says, uh -uh, they didn't put in the time, they didn't put in the investment. I was very, very disappointed in this connection, Omkara Taro. So, what's the action?
queen of pentacles okay ace of wands seven of pentacles again and the four of pentacles yeah person b says i am looking for a match who's going to match me king of pentacles to the queen of pentacles that's it i'm not going to settle for anything less than a true partner in my life even if that means i have to move forward into a brand new beginning i will this particular connection according to person b says really disappointed me really really disappointed me and that's the reason i'm holding back from them it's not that i don't love them or i didn't see them as the person i wanted in my life but they disappointed me they, they didn't offer me nothing and i'm not going to settle for just being an option in somebody's life or you know so person b says uh uh nothing but the best and person a says i want the best now they 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 want to show up now i think as a true match emperor to the empress so tell me about the emperor overall energy emperor you want the mic it is an aries card though <laughs> all right and you have that as your overall energy wow okay so emperor i'm going to hand you the mic now would you like to say something why are you presiding over aries reading today emperor the first thing i'm getting from the emperor is that because right under that i have the knight of swords it's like yeah i want to return back to them i want to rush back to them i have i still have romantic feelings towards them and i unconditional love in fact uh, this emperor says this is my wish this is my star this is my dream and uh, they are a little scared that if they don't rush in quick enough this beautiful loving person is going to be snatched up by somebody else Anything else emperor anything else you'd like to say here why are you the overall energy for aries reading today uh page of swords fool card yes queen of cups again they are trying to figure out the best possible way to come because they the, the emperor truly wants to take a leap of faith now they are trying to gather as, as much intel or prepare or i don't know what this person is doing but they are preparing it's almost like they are studying or finding out or i don't know this is like preparation time to take that leap of faith because like i said they have unconditional love for the other person they want to show back up in in a good match vibration now it's like if you are this then i am your counterpart Okay I'm sure I'm having fun with you anything else anything else you want to say to Aries today I mean this reading whether you are the uh, they want to first and foremost apologize they want to apologize uh they want to talk and clear the air they want to be honest and transparent good and they are manifesting they are manifesting right now maybe they you don't see them coming maybe they're waiting for the right time but this person definitely wants to try again they are feeling the loss of the other person in their life too acutely it's like they're sitting in sadness and regret and feeling left out in the cold yes this person i think is waiting for the right time to initiate action All right so that's what I have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste